welcome and welcome for a nice introduction. Um, I will talk with you about a complex data structure or at least some thoughts in this, this direction. And as a guiding principle for presentation, it's normally called KISS. It's the acronym for keep it short and simple. And the same, I think, should be done when we are talking about the concepts, how we handle the data. Um, one, one thing is complexity is not necessary because it's, it's beautiful. It should be reduced as good as possible. But the level of complexity shouldn't be guided by the possibilities of our software and solution. It's the necessity and the problem. And so we as a company like to share with you some thoughts how we'd like to handle um, these kind of complexity. If we speak about we, it's Bentley Systems, and we have here a really bold statement, which basically says that we like to improve the environmental and the economic impact of big infrastructure projects um, to improve the quality of life. And it's clear if you do such a bold statement, we take a bold building as an example to talk about this kind of complexity. Some figures for you to give context why we think we should talk about dams and how data model could look like. Um, interesting enough, for an IT company, we are pretty old, almost 40 years. If we talk about the, what is it, lifespan of a dam, this is pretty much a young child. So it will be interesting to see how we, who came into the game quite late, compared to the beginning of these dams, can bring some value. We are worldwide um, active with our partners, associations, and um, other institutions to make this happen. And it's important for us, we spoke about sustainability in the first session this morning. Um, it's important to cover the sustainability topic. And I'm absolutely aware, if we talk about dams, this is not 100% environmental friendly and sustainability. There are pros and cons, and you need to balance it. And we will see the technology, how we can do it. And as a dam has a significant life cycle, we need to make sure that we cover the planning phase, the construction phase, and the operational phase. And in the further presentation, I will do an, what is it, interesting um, view, because I will concentrate on existing dams and make a pragmatic statement. The harm was done during construction, maybe, and there are other impacts. But now it's important to make sure that we have as much benefits out of this construction moving forward. And we will see how the complexity of this kind of infrastructure projects um, come into play and how we can handle it. Um, I forgot to mention, if we talk about digital twin, and we heard about this uh, word quite a long, we normally put an I in front of it. And this does not mean um, information, it's infrastructure. So that's our main purpose, to make digital twins who are able to handle this um, kind of infrastructure information. Let's start when we talk about complexity with some examples. Um, if we talk about dams, and there is a level of complexity above engineering. Even if we are here in this community mainly focusing on the construction and the impact, there is a level above. I brought you, I think, some examples to illustrate it. We have a dam project in, what is it, um, Egypt, Sudan, Ethiopia, and it has political implications um, to a significant level. It's the River of Nil. I think we had, some years ago, this disaster in Brazil with the tailings with collapsed. And this was not only an engineering problem, it was a legal problem and an insurance problem. Moving down the list, we will see we have elements like the Chinese projects who have raised some questions about relocation of people, or most recently, the dam in Ukraine. So infrastructure is even used and weaponized. So it's important to understand, even if we discuss the context of 
infrastructure data, we need to be aware there is a bigger or further responsibility. I'd like to focus on one specific element or type of dam. It's called the Arc Gravity Dam. And I'm not sure if you would recognize it. Down there, it's um, the Hoover Dam. And I think this is quite a beautiful piece of infrastructure or engineering. So it's amazing if you stand on top. It's even more amazing if you're down. And it will be really interesting to see what implications do we have? What's the level of complexity? I need to check how far I am here. Um, just to give you an, an information, you see the dam and the arc itself. This concrete element is complex in itself, but it has a, a quite a long list of elements you need to consider as well. There is a reasonable impact on the whole um, ecosystem upstream because the reservoir will be flooded. There is implications up to reservoir-induced seismology, and you need to consider that you trigger some minor earthquakes or these kind of things. You have to consider all the roads. It's heavy construction because this is a, uh, what is it, a remote area, but there might be turbines or generators, several hundred tons you have to uh, transport. And to go down the list, you have to consider the connection to the electrical grids. Dams have been mainly used for electrical power generation. And there is quite some um, complex geology on hydrogeology here you have to consider. Um, at the upper right corner, you see a really cool um, video or a screenshot from a video from a software from us from Sequent, which so shows you the subsurface model and the way the, how the construction for the dam is made. So dams are the perfect example about complexity in the different phases. And even more interesting, the complexity is changing along the lifespan. So the most complex element is to consider um, what might be needed in 50 or 100 years. And this is my first um, recommendation if it comes to complexity. Nobody will know what a dam needs to stand up uh, if it's, um, what is it, in 100 years. So plan the unknown. Plan to be flexible. And this is possible if you go with a digital twin. There is an interesting element here. Um, historically, we saw that dams have been built for hydropower purpose. And there have been some other elements like water management, flood protection and a list more. And this is another element where the digital twin will be helpful because we need to build infrastructure. This is all already considering that it will change. So there might be a dam which was initially planned for hydropower is now changed or modified during the aging process into the use for drinking water. Just to mention three other elements before we go to the important maintenance element. We already saw the structure, the subsurface elements. You need to have a good digital twin. Here is a good example about uh, analysis tool. Adina, and you see already the arc and the different um, concrete segments. And here you can do from a digital twin as the main data source. You can take this kind of data with BIM classes and move it into this analyst tool. And last but not least, you see this little lorry or van. You can imagine uh, the place where a dam is built is a remote area. To manage all the 4D construction site and concrete thing, it's quite, quite difficult. So there are several phases where it's important to have this kind of thing. But the most important one is um, the operational phase and the security. Because we have many dams and they need to stay longer. And if we talk about sustainability, we need to make sure that they can use much longer. This increases the sustainability of the dam dramatically. And the dam has additional stress in his old age. Because the reason of our climate change causes our reservoir level changing temperature level changing. 
so dams experience an unprecedented stress level. The only way to make this happen when we see we have a scarcity of skilled labor, we see we get additional data, we have new regulations, and we need to keep up with the resilience, is that we have a structure that we capture the data. I think we heard it from Ms. Hein before. We visualize it and then we decide what to do. Dams are quite important. If a bridge is under danger for a collapse, I can shut it down quickly. If I have a full reservoir, which is, has an issue with the dam, it takes me days to prevent any disaster from happening, so to empty this reservoir. There are the different tools for capturing IoT implementation and experience, so it's the full um, life cycle to do it. And here we have an um, example from the new Ballard Dam, what have been the challenges about the measurement and getting the data, and the solution how IoT, drone data, and processing, cloud stored processing, KI integration helped to keep the dam alive and operating in a more efficient way. You can come and visit our booth or our web page. There is a video I might will um, interrupt you to the sake of time to not miss your interesting questions. And here you can see um, reality capture, mesh, and reality photography. And based on this information, there is a um, detection of crap crack and spelling, and here it's important. When you have one single measurement, you can't say nothing. If you have a, the huge amount of data and you can compare over time, how did it change? What is the pattern of the different changes? And what is um, um, the, the, the structure? And with AI, you can process this amount of data, you can generate an alert, and people can really react. And this is an important thing. You can empower people to take the right decision in time. With the dam, this is a question of death and life. More in detail, and I'm a geophysicist. I worked on this dam. I can share and like to share and discuss with you at our booth. Um, the important learning is the structure for this data is have a digital twin, system of systems, connect them for the data exchange, work with established processes for communication collaboration like BIM, and if you have specialized analysis, you need to be able to include these kind of systems as well. Monitoring prolongs the life, reuse or use longer is highly sustainable, and there are interesting discussions how dams have a future moving forward, probably in a more different style. You can see it, come to our booth. I think that's the normal thing. We have a web page. We have in Singapore right now a celebration for the biggest and coolest project. Dam projects are included. And I would love to discuss with you the element of complexity and data structure and the future of dams in a national water strategy or how we can solve our problems. And one additional thing, I can explain you why I did it in English, pure English, even if I'm German, um, at our booth. There is a story behind it, and you can ask questions if you'd like to in German language as well, here at the booth, at the lunch break, or during the rest of the show. Thank you very much. Thanks for your patience and the two extra minutes.